Locally, a couple of close races do stand out. We'll begin in Dallas County, where voters will choose a top leader. Cleo Green is live at a polling site in Dallas. Okay, Cleo, what are you seeing there? Well, Kara, we are here at Ben Milam Elementary School right off of McKinney, and voters have been walking in and out of the school. Things are running smoothly. But when I got here around 8 o'clock this morning, there was actually a really, really long line. I got a chance to speak to an election official, and she told me, listen, when they opened the doors at 7 o'clock this morning, all of their signage wasn't up, so they really couldn't open all of those booths. So, yes, things got a little jam-packed, but now things are running smoothly. I also got a chance to speak to a few, a few voters, rather, who told me uh, what really matters to them on this ballot. Our state governor, it's really important to me this year. I kind of like what they're trying to do with Fair Park and with the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. I think it's important to have the city of Dallas continue to grow and improve. Now, let's run down some of the key races on the ballot here in Dallas County. Republican Lauren Davis challenging incumbent Democratic Clay Jenkins for judge. Also on the ballot is the race for district attorney. It's a rematch between incumbent Democrat John Cruzo and Republican Faith Johnson, a former DA. And the most watched race is for District 2 County Commissioner between Republican incumbent J.J. Koch and Democrat Andrew Summerman. It's really important to note here in Dallas County that if Koch or Davis lose, Democrats will control every seat on the commissioner's court. Now, this is why this is such a big election here in Texas. Once again, a steady flow of voters here at Ben Milam Elementary School. Care coming up around 1130, we're going to be talking about voter turnout. I'll send it back to you.